Jaza Bakuziev from Uzbekistan. Yes, that's checks done. Bravo. Madani has the height advantage. It's quite fast. Bakuziev plays a very tactical, frustrating game. Scores punches, lots of checks off the front leg. A point stealer, as it were. Using his opponent's weight and size against him. Madani's got the reach advantage to go for the headshot. A little bit of a low impact there. The Iranian's limping around. Referee wants him to carry on. So there we see the trademark weight on the back leg for the Uzbek. Madani goes high, then kicks the body. Quite nearly appeal, so maybe thought that second kick went to the face. We'll see in the video review. So that's our video review team. first one was definitely defending the second one it looked like it slipped out and straight away is rejected so there's no doubt in their minds that there was no point there early use of the card they only get one video review per match if they're unsuccessful if you are successful you get the card back and points is dated but if you're unsuccessful you lose that card and you lose the right to appeal or well, the coach does should I say so Early sacrifice of the card by the Iranian coach. Madani trying to keep a, a good range away from Bakuziev. See more action than we did in the first semi final, but. Not really looking at any points as yet. Cautious start by both players. So nil nil at the end of the first round. So we'll probably see that headshot again. Our video review, our video replay team sort of shows us that. Here we go. That's the first one. It's clearly defended. Then he flicks it back again. You can see there that Sajan Madani clearly thought that he'd scored and that was strong enough to influence his coach. So that's covered, a better angle there for us and he definitely clips the head guard. Now the fact that his toe clipped the head guard and he didn't score means that the point cannot stand because there was no impact to the face and there wasn't sufficient impact to the head guard to score. So that was a very clear, very precise decision. By Elba Adams of the US, herself a former world champion, who's a video review judge. Round two. So, second round. Head shot by Bikuziev. Not quite close enough, but. A good sign of things to come and that just shows his speed of movement and in so close and yet able to get that extension so far. Sajad tries the punch. But it's Bakuziev that scores in that exchange. So I say Jayza Bakuziev uses his opponent's weight against him 
And when they come in for those exchanges, it's nearly always him that gets the point. Much to the frustration of his opponent. We've seen quite a few games decided by low scoring. Uh, that's another clash to the leg there. It looks like Sajid Madani might have an injury. Possible existing condition there that's uh, going to affect his performance. Definitely looks uncomfortable. Definitely a lot of leg clashing coming in there. It's not intentional, or it doesn't appear to be. Referee's not penalising them for it, but it is happening a lot. And Bekuziev is a solid guy, so, you know, it'll be Mardani that's feeling that. There's a packed headshot there. Clear kick to the face, no doubt about it. Extended through, pulled it back, extended in again, scored to the face. Great technique by Mardani, great leg control. And that puts him ahead. And now it's Bekuziev that's coming after him, gets a warning. So Mardani will be relieved with that. He's got through those tight defences of the Uzbek. So two-point lead, can he hold on to that in this third round? Deficit's not strong enough, so he might need to try to add to it. Needs to be careful in doing that so that he doesn't get picked off. But the reigning will definitely be the most comfortable at this stage. Here we see it again. That was the actual impact from the reverse, and let's hope we can see it from the other side. For the replay, here we go. So, extension one. A push through there, I think we just saw that it was a combination of movements, so it would be nice to see the full movement. Third round about to get underway. Iran versus Uzbekistan. Iran blue, Uzbekistan red. Sajad Mahadani and Jayza Bakuziev. Bakuziev will be trying to get some points on the board early on in this round. There's lots of leg clashing there. They need to be careful, Bakuziev. He doesn't get a Kyongo. Mahadani's going to try the headshots again. It's worked for him once. Bakuziev tries the axe. As Mardani knows, being more proactive, kicks the body, checks the body. That clashing of legs is going on again. I think the ref might do something, tries a headshot. Bakuziev tries to pick up on it. Mardani needs to be careful not to get too defensive. Just checking him away. Similar to what our boxer would use a jab. Comes off the back leg and Bakuziev tries a back kick. Scores a point, and that's it. An extra two points, and that puts Bakuziev in front. He scored with the back kick. Mardani tried to hold on to the lead, wasn't positive enough with the attacks. And as a result, Bakuziev picked him off with the back kick. Now this, now, this will be difficult for Mardani because Bekuziev will just shut him down, will try and stop those front leg techniques, raising that le his own leg high. 30 seconds, just less than. They see that holding that front leg high, trying to stop any checking action. Bekuziev got to be careful not to get a Kyongo. Shin blocking there. Madani cuts underneath, levels the score. Thirteen seconds left, could go to Golden Point. Madani's still got to be careful not to get a Kyongo. 
Bekuzev, sorry, please be careful not to get the Kyongo. There's a clash of legs again. And the Iranian player is not very happy there. He's gone to Golden Point. He thought that Bekuzev was raising that leg, holding up, shin blocking, which is a foul because of the obvious danger to both athletes. So four points each. Sajad Mardani from Iran. Jason Bakuzia from Uzbekistan. Kyung will now be discounted and start off at 0-0. That's the backing that came underneath. Very powerful, very accurate. Mardani did well to come back with that body kick off the back leg. Good point, well deserved. Feeling a bit frustrated, he thinks Bekuziev should have got the Kyongo for shin blocking. If that had been the case, there would have been no need for this golden point round. Again, in case we need to explain, the first point wins it. In the event of a tight score, the athlete who's Impacted the most will win. The scoreboard there, we're still showing a Kyongo, that's not the case, that needs to come off. Start with a clean sheet and a golden point round, because he has still raising that knee up. Now Danny trying to use his leg length coming off the front, off the back leg and then doubling it up. Bekuziev moves in with his knee high, gets a kick to the body. That would have scored before the new sensor settings. Clash of shins. Referee says carry on, get on with it. Give him time to recover now. Can one steal a point here quickly? Well, they still recovering. Must have been an hard impact because it's not like because you have to wind. Twisting kick attempt by the Iranian, big punch. Well defended. You probably see because have tried that again. Almost looks like he's measuring up for the punch. Madan is ready for it. Until the last minute. It's a bit difficult to score off the front leg from Madani there. Definitely limping on that front leg, Mardani. He should come off the back, possibly even go high, get through the defences, tries to jab out. Combination there, Mardani's clashed with the leg, the chin hits it rather than the, the sensor sock, or the foot. Goes for the punch, it wasn't clean. Closing seconds. Clash of legs again, Bakuziev. Raising that leg up, exchange, exchange, nothing's happening, no points are coming up there, there's another impact. There's definitely to be more impact by Sajjad Mardani, so let's see if that is the case. It's not, oh it is, you can't really make out that score as it is. Yes, Sajjad Mardani goes through superiority. A deserved result for the Iranian player. He was more proactive. Very strong. Jaser Bakuziev, maybe a little bit fortunate not to be penalised for shin blocking. So that's our heavyweight category decided for the final. Babar Nadei 